So here we have a very sad, tarnished old butter dish. Silver plate. It's four dollars today. It's half off price. I'm gonna get it. And I'm gonna see if we can clean it up. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so here is that little butter dish. Unfortunately, it does not have the inner glass tray, but that's okay. I might go back to where I bought it and see if I can't find it. So it's silver plate. It's Hendley. It does have a mark on the back, but it's so tarnished that you can't see it. It's made by Onita Community. Silver plate. So let's get it together. We're going to start tin foil, shiny side up. We're going to add our baking soda quite a bit. Some salt. And mix it around a little bit. wait for the water to heat up then we'll need to take it outside for the first part uh, because it'll kind of smell like rotten eggs and then we can bring it in and see how quickly we can get that cleaned up okay. let's pour in our very warm water let that sit a minute and we'll come back to it bring it inside and get it cleaned up hope not oh look it's coming off with this oh, I like these a lot better I found these uh, scour pads at Dollar Tree and I love them. They clean up everything. Oh, look at that. That is really, that really looks nice. And it is taking it right off. All that tarnish. Hang on, let me get rid of him. He can't be in here. Uh -uh. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to continue working with this. Oh, look at that. Even that really hard to get spot came off. So let me keep going at this a little bit. It looks like it's going to clean up. There's this side too. Oh yeah, see it's coming off of there real easy too. I'll be back when it's cleaned up. We'll see how it looks. Well, I decided to just continue forward with these little scrub pads. I tried a few things to try and get that off, and it just took a lot more scrubbing than what I thought on this. So I managed to get a good part of... There we go. The good part of the silver is starting to clean up. The silver edge. I'm a little still concerned about the scratches, but I might just try to buff those if I can. Otherwise, I'm you know I'm happy with the results. Um, there's a nice little scratch right there that I that I did, I guess. So, but what I'll say is lesson learned. You know, I probably, if I were to do this again, I would try to find something else besides the scour pad, obviously. But I still think it cleaned it up pretty nicely. Um, 
It's obviously, though, not as durable as some silverware. So, anyway, I'm going to try and get this rinsed off. I think this is probably about as good as it's going to get. And I might try and buff out some of those scratches. And then I'll be back and we'll see what it finally looks like after just maybe a little bit more work. Okay, everyone, this is what... I ended up with the end of the day and there's the base of it now there were a few fine scratches there is our I don't know if we can see the if it'll come in on the there it is Hendley and what I'm going to go on ahead and do, just for curiosity, okay, because I was not really expecting this to scratch like it did, I'm going to try and do a silver test on this. I would think that at this point I might have gone through enough of the plating. Maybe not, I don't know. But I'm going to test both of these. because I'm curious let's see if I can focus that down a little bit better let's see what it does okay well, it looks like, yeah, some is silver, and then I'm down to some of the other bits that are not. Okay. Well, that answered that. Okay, so at the end of the day, here's what we got. I think lesson learned about the scrub pad, so we're going to find another way. But otherwise, I think it came out really nice. And if I can find the little glass insert, I'll probably just keep this for myself. Okay. Have a great day, everybody.